Hi my friends, this is a speed paint of my acrylic painting Tether. It took a couple of days working on it and it's all nice and compiled into one video for your viewing pleasure. I'll leave the supplies and brands I used in the description and if you have any questions about the technique or process, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Today I wanted to talk about meaning in art. This is something I've been reflecting on and thinking of in terms of my own art and recently I went on Instagram and kind of chatted in the comments about it to some of my followers. Of course art is subjective and will be different to every person that looks at it so the meaning or lack of that the artist meant for it to have might be seen to the viewer, it might be reinterpreted or it might not carry over at all. For my own work, I do a lot of floral pieces or nature-related pieces that there might not be a super clear narrative or meaning to just by looking at it, and maybe I have to talk about it, or it might come through even in the title of the piece. Something I kind of fought with was, does art have to mean something? And in my opinion, it doesn't really have to mean anything or symbolize something to be art. Uh, a lot of times I use art as sort of a meditation and I let the colors and the content flow naturally. And sometimes when I look at the final product, I'll be able to tell what kind of mood I was in or something I was thinking about while working on it. And sometimes those subconscious things will make their way through in the artwork. So this is something I notice quite a bit in my sketchbooks. So even if I wasn't intending on a certain meaning or narrative, it comes through anyways. So it kind of creates meaning itself in that way, even if I wasn't planning on it. I think there's an interesting relationship between meaning in a piece and the general mood or the feel of the piece. I love to have lots of dark colors in my work, but I also do really like bright colors too. So the balance of color or the placement kind of creates a mood to the piece. So for example, this painting has a big grouping of colorful flowers kind of captured in the surrounding darkness. And I titled this piece Tether because the vines connecting the flowers to the outside frame kind of felt like they were floating there but still being like pulled in different directions. I don't think a piece necessarily has to have meaning, but it needs something for people to connect to. In that chat I had on Instagram, I had with my followers, someone mentioned that they just liked the way that I did line art, and they like found a connection to that, or just like enjoyed it, made them happy. Finding just a piece of an artist's work that you find intriguing or enjoy in some way can be the reason that you like the artist's entire style. And I found that super interesting. I took some time to look at some of the artists that I love and thought about what it was about their work that drew me to it, what I liked about it, or why I followed their work in general. Sometimes it's the content, so what they're actually painting or drawing or whatever. Sometimes it's the colors they use, the type of color palette they use for all of their work or the general feel of that. Sometimes it's the way they use a certain medium, so if they do watercolors in a unique way or add specific kinds of textures to their oil paint. Sometimes it's the meaning behind the pieces, so maybe they have a pretty standard theme they like to cover or they have a certain feel to their work like oh it's like like dark art or it's portraits that have like a certain tone to them or maybe they always paint a type of relationship in their paintings. Sometimes what draws me to an artist is the artist themselves so the actual person making it. I definitely have grown to like different styles of art than I would normally be drawn to just because I had some kind of connection to the actual person that made it. Keep in mind it might be just as important to showcase your personality and who you are as a person 
than it is to showcase the actual art. Of course, the actual art is important, but I've loved art from like a certain artist, and then after getting to know more about them as a person or seeing more of their personality come through or even just like watching interviews or maybe I've even actually met them in person, it can change the opinion and the connection that I have with their art. And sometimes that's in a positive way and sometimes that's in a really negative way. Like I'm sure somebody can think of like an artist that they really like and then once they kind of researched them and got to know more about them, you were kind of like, oh... And like disappointed in a way. I don't know. I've definitely had that happen or have had gotten to gotten to know an artist and then learned something about them that maybe I didn't agree with or they just turned out being a terrible person or something. There's a lot of things that can go wrong but I mean there's also a lot of things that can go right, you know? With my own work, I really hope that I can bring a balance of personal meaning to my art and meaning kind of like cultivated from the viewer of my art so you can find kind of your own narrative or meaning in it and also meaning through my personality and my own voice and who I am as a person. I think I would like to have my art be a combination of all of those things. I don't want it to just be a particular thing and I also don't want to be just some like nobody like I want people to know who I am like who is actually behind the art and not just putting it out there as a finished piece and not really not really saying anything about it or where I was kind of coming from with it I guess I would love to hear what kinds of meaning or connection that you find in artwork so either either my work or just in general if there's something that you know drew you to my work or maybe you knew about me through something else and followed me through that. I don't know. I would just love to hear about it. I think it's a really interesting discussion and I don't know. I've been really evaluating what I like in different artists and kind of comparing that to the type of work and how much personal information I guess I put out with my work. So I really like it when artists talk about their piece and what it means to them or what they were talking or what they were thinking about while making it. Um, I really like, I've been following Audra Eau Claire's work for many, many years now. I think she's really awesome and I really like how candid and personal she is when talking about her work and just about her life in general. She just feels like a very genuine and honest person and I really like that and that's something that I admire and would also want to show to my audience. This piece definitely I think has probably some hidden meaning but I don't really know what it is yet. Um, I do think that there was like some artistic choices made that probably relate back to it having a certain type of meaning and I don't know maybe I don't really know what that is yet. I just knew that I wanted these flowers in the middle to have kind of almost a glowing effect. So the light source would be right behind that pink flower in the front. And I did a couple of studies of that beforehand and I knew I wanted to have that um, in a piece. And so I wanted to have this bunch of flowers be kind of illuminated from the center and kind of getting darker as you're getting further away from the light source. And so kind of those that yellow flower and the red flower on top are going to have kind of some darkness surrounding them and then I knew I wanted to have some like spiky vines so these are um, raspberry vines there's a lot of raspberries growing right now it's summer and in lots of like the weeds and brush and everything you can just see these spiky vines and I just find them really interesting and I don't know I, I love drawing sharp things too so I think maybe that was part of it and I really like the balance of the really soft flowers along with the really sharp and spiky vines. And I like the contrast of the light and the dark in this piece and kind of the brighter colors and the muted. So there's definitely a lot of like balance going on with this. And maybe you can take your own meaning from it if you kind of interpret this in a way. I'd love to see what you think. And yeah, just... I'd like to continue on this discussion. It's something I find really interesting. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, leave a comment. Um, I'm on Instagram and I'm now on Twitter, so you can find me there. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.